uh hello and uh, welcome back everyone so in this video we will try to identify the benefits of using orm okay so sqlize is an orm for node.js applications to connect to uh, different applications different database sorry the database can be all the big list is mariadb sqlite 3 uh, mysql 2 i mean mysql database these all are the libraries to connect with all these uh, databases like you can connect to the Postgres, SQLite, MySQL, uh, MariaDB and all. So there is a enough documentation. I mean, this is a good documentation available on the SQLize to get to know each and everything about SQLize, how to define the model, how to do a query or how to define the associations, how to do the seeders, migrations, everything in the SQLizejs.com. We will also have a look on to that. Okay. So to just basic setup of SQLize, we just do npm install minus minus save SQLize. Then you need to choose what database you have. If you have MySQL, then install MySQL 2, SQLite, uh, then SQLite 3. So based on that, you can install the uh, depending modules. Now, this is, this is actually a generic topic to identify the benefits. Like, I mean, there is always pros and cons of using something. So if you are using uh, SQLize as an ORM, then pros is like you are not dealing with the actual SQL, MySQL database queries which you are writing. You will just use these uh, MySQL library, uh, SQLize library which provides a wrapper functions to do all the queries. But it provides a clean way to define the associations between uh, one table to another table, one to one relationship, relationship one to many relationship, many to many relationship. This ORM provides a best way of doing the migrations and seeder, seeding the database. I mean, there is a concept of seeders, migrations. Using this uh, SQLize, you can create database, drop database, uh, create the tables and seed all the data which you want to have in your application there. Apart from that, uh, you don't need to write any additional code to validate the data which is being inserted. There are hooks which can do some pre-processing before data is being inserted into the tables or uh, there are validations out there you can write your own custom validations like whatever the beauty you see in the mongoose which is an odm for the node.js with the mongodb database all are there i mean you will find more on top of that i mean that is for nosql database mongodb here it is actually talking to the rdbms system like mysql so a lot of advantages are there when you deal with uh, SQLize as ORM. Okay, basic thing is just when we have installed SQLize in MySQL 2, then you can create a connection, uh, new SQLize and you pass all the attributes here. You can pass the complete URL in a single line also. And like in the MySQL client, there is a connection pool utility. I mean, you can also create a connection pool if you use independent MySQL client as a library. Same thing you can do with the SQLize. Here you can create a connection pool. Another thing is once you got the connection object, you can just do a authenticate onto that to check if you are able to successfully able to connect to the database or not. So SQLize has this authenticate and sync method. Sync method is important method. So currently we are not writing any migrations and seeders. So we are actually creating our tables by the code. So how we can do that? We just need to write see connection dot sync. If you are doing force true, it means it will wipe out all the tables if they already exist and then you will be able to create the create the tables which are defined in the model so if we we have seen that code right uh, here we have defined only one schema i mean one model which is a user model and here we are just authenticating the connection if it is fine and then we are doing sync and force is true here which means when we run this command it will actually drop the complete uh, table it is dropping the table and then it is creating the table again the same table right and then it is starting the server because we need to start the server when sqlize has done its task and connection is already up and running okay so there are multiple benefits we will we will do it in the different way in future we will just read all the model files where all our uh, schema objects are kept like user shopping cart product category all these are there we'll just read all the files and we will create them okay once your application is up and running now in future you wanted to change the column what you will do you need to write a migrations and seeders migration to update the 
column add a new column or alter a table all these things you will not be doing from database sqlize will give you the migrations uh, give you the facility to write migrations and execute them which will update the database on the fly okay so in the next video we'll just talk about the setup of these applications and we'll start writing some code uh, for node.js apis